that's coming this weekend, Saturday to be precise on the 21st. It's the Arts Canterbury Drama Children's Theatre Festival. There you go, that's a mouthful, but it should be a mouthful <laughs> because there's six shows to check out with us right now. Uh, we have uh, uh, Malia Sarwar with us. Hello. Hi. Nice to have you. Canterbury High School and Alina Lebron is with us as well. Hi. Nice to see you here as well and apparently stripes are in today. <laughs> Strikes are in. Okay, cool. Uh, you're both in grade 11? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Emilia, let's start with you. So you've got this event coming up. Now, does this Children's Theatre Festival happen every year? Yeah, so it's an annual festival that we always have. It's part of the curriculum for the drama program at our school. So yeah, we have this festival. We also tour our shows at other schools. And on the festival day, we have lots of fun games and activities and a bake sale and pizza. Well, okay, that's it. That's the event right there. <laughs> no more needs to be said. Bake sales and pizzas, okay. Uh, so, so, Alina, how many shows are there in total? Um, this year we're doing six shows, and that's how many we do every year. Yeah. Six shows, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you, can you uh, describe the six shows for us? Yeah, so in each, each class we're doing three each. And in my class for the four to six age group, we have Ray Raccoon and the Missing Moon. Mm. We also have for the six to age group, uh, it's kind of a funny story. And we okay. have the Epic of Eve for our oldest age group, which is 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. okay. And right. then in my class, we have Karen the Kangaroo, Cindy in the Land of Sand, and the Boy, the Boat, and the Big Blue Sea. Okay, that's, that's a lot of titles right there. Yeah. <laughs> now we're seeing some clips as well. I think Ray Raccoon is what we were just seeing here. Now it's Karen the Kangaroo. Yeah. And it certainly looks like you guys have a lot of fun when you're doing this. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, can I ask you, uh, Malia, how many uh, students are involved in these productions? Um, in our, uh, well, in each production, there's roughly seven to eight people in the cast, including the two directors. Then in the whole program we have about 52 people, so everybody in our grade is involved in it, and then we're all split into separate groups. Okay, so who cho chooses which plays you'll be putting on? It's actually a really long process. Basically in grade 12 drama you write a play, so a few years later people start choosing from it, and the mm -hmm. class kind of goes through a process of elimination to choose the best plays, and mm -hmm. we workshop them and we try for the best ones. Okay, yeah. so you're telling me that these plays were all written by former Canterbury High School mm -hmm. students? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so would these students come back to watch them? Yeah, yeah we've normally. definitely been contacting them all saying, hey, we chose to do your script this year, so they're all super excited to see them. Yeah. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. When does the uh, decision process uh, start? When do you start deciding on we which We started place? at the beginning of the semester, okay. which yeah. was around February, mm -hmm. so yeah. it's been in the process for a while, yeah. yeah. Okay, fun. Now, it's a pay-what-you-can event, which is really cool, so tell us why that means so much to you. Um, well, what we really want to do is make sure that arts are accessible to everybody, because it, it does cost a lot of money to see professional shows. So what we have is we have it by donation, so if you want, you can donate, because we do have to cover the costs of buses, which can be roughly $1,000 for all the buses we have to do to go see other schools. We also have set, props, costume, but we really want to make sure that everybody that wants to see the shows can come see the shows. Okay. Alina, so this takes place at Canterbury High School, mm -hmm. 900 Canterbury Avenue, for yes. those who don't know this legendary facility. <laughs> uh, how many people does would it hold, though, a facility like this for the shows? Well, it holds a lot, and every year we usually expect around three to 500 people to watch the show, and uh, yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so then how does it work? Because there's six shows in total, mm -hmm. so is it sort of come and go, or, or there's their set times yeah, for shows? Yeah, um, so we have shows at 10, 11, 12, and 1, so each class, we have the each three age groups mm -hmm. going on at each time, so it's kind of like you have a choice to go to any play that you mm -hmm. want. It's, you don't have to be there the whole time, but yeah. it definitely helps because you can watch all of them. And we have one show for every age group on it every hour, and the shows are about 25 minutes, and then between the shows there's a 20 minute intermission, uh, intermission where we have games and activities. And so what are the age groups then that you're looking at for this, these events? We have 4 to 6, 6 to 8, and 8 to 10. Okay, that's good. So, so it's obviously family friendly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Family friendly fun. Now you were mentioning actually, um, uh, Malia, that you go on the road after then with these yeah. plays. So where, where does your travels take you? Um, so after the festival, we're going to be touring to a bunch of schools, just to name some. We have Agincourt, Charles Halls, Roberta Bondar. Some schools are going to be coming to see us too. Um, and we'll have different age groups touring to different schools at different times. So it's really exciting. Yeah. So is that fun? Is that also an opportunity for you to see schools that you haven't seen before? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can it be nerve-wracking though to, to show up at these schools, different facilities, different yeah, backstages I mean, look different? Kids can get a little unpredictable, yeah. so you never know <laughs> what you're facing. And a lot of our plays include audience interactions. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing it, they can say anything. Mm -hmm. And you have to be ready to keep going. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be ready for this. Yeah. So, so in total, then, and how many people are involved in all of these productions, including backstage, staff, students? 
probably roughly 80 people because we have all the cast and then we have volunteers and the teachers and everyone else that's been helping us out. So who would be volunteering? Uh, we have the grade 9 and 10 drama students volunteering and it's really cool because they're going to be doing this in a couple years, some of them it's next year. Mm -hmm. So they get a little taste of what it's like and then they get to help us out too. So the next year would you be writing a play that would perhaps would be showing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you have thoughts in your mind already about what you'd... Uh... No the idea. Raccoon, the raccoon <laughs> idea has already been taken? Um, <laughs> a lot of them have to do with animals. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So why do you think that is, that animals are just so popular? They're just, I think kids really like animals. Yeah. Yeah. The costumes, face paint, it's fun to do. They yes. get to dress up? Is yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so are you all involved as actors yes. in, yeah. in all of the plays so as well? So we're producers for the show, but we also have really small roles in one. Yeah. Like, I changed the set. I'm Ray's mom. I have a few lines, yeah. and it's uh, pretty fun, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're pretty busy, hands-on all day. <laughs> yeah, organizing and yeah. making the posters and all everything. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what's the best way then for people to find out more about this? So we have um, an Instagram and a Facebook. Both of them are CHS Children's Theatre Festival 2018. We also have an email if people want to contact us with questions, which is chschildrenstheater2018 at gmail.com. <laughs> all right, do you have that down to a science the way you did that? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh -huh. Canterbury High School is happening, and that's, uh, of course, this upcoming Saturday. Thank yeah. you very much. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Details in the upcoming mm -hmm. Child Haven fundraiser dinner. We've got them for you next right here on Daytime Ottawa. Rogers TV.